Before we will begin, we need to thank a number of people uh, and organisations for their support and financial generosity, uh, without which we, we wouldn't be able to hold uh, days such as this. In particular, the Big Lottery Fund, who have supplied us with a generous grant uh, and to whom we need to make particular reference. Thank you, National Lottery. <laughs> Uh, the Lux Solis Masonic Lodge, the National Institute for Health Research. Oh, did I mention the Big Lottery Fund? <laughs> the team would also like to say how much we appreciate the encouragement and support we've received from the Lupus team at Adam Brooks and the Cambridge University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust. My name is Davina and I'm the Vice Chair of the Cambridgeshire Lupus Group. I joined the group over five years ago and have found its members to be supportive and often inspirational. I was first diagnosed at Adam Brooks by a dermatologist with a suspected little known autoimmune disease, relapsing polychondritis. About a year later, the lupus or SLE diagnosis was made. I lose track, but I think all this was around 10 years ago, and I've had a number of mysterious illnesses over the years since I was a teenager. It is my opinion that I have in fact suffered from autoimmune conditions since then without diagnosis until my early 40s. This disease has totally, totally, totally changed my life, and now has to be my first consideration when I'm trying to plan anything. This afternoon has meant a change to my normal strict routine. About now, I would normally retire from my afternoon sleep for a good couple of hours. Sounds lovely, but it's actually very annoying. You can't do anything for the day. This enables me to cope with the day-to-day -day tasks that a lot of people without a debilitating disease take for granted. Adapting over the years and adjusting my routine has had big challenges for me and for my friends and family. When learning how to live with lupus, it also takes a while for everyone around you to accept the changes. However, with the support of friends and family, it becomes easier to manage. You can still live an active and useful life without exacerbating symptoms. Learning how to manage yourself is key. Forgiving and being kind to yourself helps an awful lot too. <coughs> the people you love around you want to help and they want to be included. Together with their understanding, life can still be happy. When I get crabby, my friends send me straight to bed. <laughs> it is essential that we continue to raise awareness of this disease and having you all here today meets that objective. Communicating the complexities of the disease is also very helpful. People are generally a lot nicer and care a lot more than we give them credit for. Within the Cambridgeshire Lupus Group, I have been lucky enough to be the sidekick to our brilliant chair, Sheila Chesman, who has kept our group going through thick and thin. Unfortunately, Sheila feels that she's come to the end of her tenure as chair and has been threatened to stand down for the past three years. I fear that next year this will really happen. Sheila does an absolutely fantastic job and is about to kill me for shining any light her way. Please show your appreciation for her. Sheila has done locally and nationally and continue to grow the regional lupus groups. We would welcome any new members. If you would like to contact us after today, ask any of the team for contact details. So anyone who 
is interested in finding out how you can help, whether or not you have lupus, please do get in touch. This event will also be available to view on YouTube. So if you need to get any details you missed the first time around, Big Brother is watching. Our Cambridgeshire group is one of a network of regional lupus groups all knitted together by Lupus UK. We have a number of the Lupus UK team here today, including CEO Chris Maker. Thank you all for coming. They have lots of leaflets and information on a stand outside the auditorium. Here in Cambridgeshire, we've been lucky enough to have the benefit of a specialist lupus nurse for the past five years. The post has been funded by Lupus UK and we were delighted to hear that Cambridge University Hospital's NHS Foundation Trust took over the funding in June of this year. Jane Hollis, our nurse, has made a huge difference to the lives of many lupus patients who attend Addenbrooke's. Lupus UK policy is to fund a new specialist nurse each year in hospitals across the country. There is one change to today's programme, published programme. Dr David Jane, Head of Vasculitis and SLE Service, is not able to join us after all. However, we're lucky enough to have his colleague, Dr Lisa Wilcox, consultant in nephrology and vasculitis, here to talk to us about why kidneys matter in lupus. There will be a 30-minute refreshment break at 2.45pm. Coffee and tea will be served in the cloister area around the auditorium and the ladies and gents can be found in the foyer. Please take the chance to look around at our visiting exhibition stands around the refreshment area. We're delighted to welcome our friends from Vasilitis UK, Scleroderma and Reynolds, got that right, the British Shrogan Syndrome Association, and the Cambridge Alliance for Independent Living. Why they can't have easy names, I don't know. <laughs> they all have lots of information and literature and are happy to answer your questions. As there is no charge for the refreshments, or indeed for this event, we invite you to make a contribution to the cost of the day in the buckets around the exhibition hall. Despite our generous sponsors, did I mention the big lottery fund? <laughs> we still have not quite covered all our costs. Please ensure that you're back in the auditorium by 3.15 in order for us to keep to the schedule. After the main talks, our speakers will lead a question and answer session. Please find a form in your information pack for your question, should you have one. If you hand the form into the Lupus UK desk during the break, we will try and cover as many topics as possible in the short time allowed. There is also a contact form in the information pack if you wish to receive more details about Lupus UK or to be notified of future events, please fill in your details and hand in the form before you leave. By contacting them, you can find out about your regional group to help you get the information and support you may need. We hope you all enjoy this information day. Should you need any assistance at all, there are lots of helpers around. They're wearing the blue lanyards. I would also like to say a big thank you to Kelly from the Conference Centre, who has been very helpful in setting this afternoon up. And it gives me great pleasure to introduce and welcome today Mrs Heidi Allen, MP for South Cambridgeshire, since being elected in 2015. Thank you, Heidi.